Okay, so where did we leave off? I think right here at this step, and now we get to do all the fun stuff. So that is inputting all the information we know. So we know the dvdt2, dvdt is 2, and we have 1 fourth pi um, h squared. And so the height is the condition 3. So we have 3 squared dh dt. And remember, our goal is to find the rate of change of the height in respect to time. So now we have 2 equals 9 fourths pi dh dt. And if I divide by 9 fourths pi and use my calculator, I get 2.7925 meters per minute. So that means the change in height of the water is rising by 2.7925 meters per minute when the height is three minutes. Fantastic. Now let's go to our last example. And so our last example will be using trigonometry. Woohoo! Okay. So now for this one, we've got a hot air balloon rising straight up from a level field. Okay. So I've got my hot air balloon, something like that. And it's rising straight up from a level field. And we have a rangefinder. That's a guy who's kind of watching it, who's 500 feet away and from the liftoff point, okay? At the moment that the rangefinder's elevation angle is pi fourth, so when the angle is pi fourth, the angle is increasing at a rate of, oh, so here's our first known rate. So what do we know? We know the change in theta in respect to time. Now, when do we know this? It's when theta is equal to pi fourth, is equal to 0 0.14 radians per minute. Okay, so that's the change of the angle. How fast is the balloon rising? So we'll call that the height. So what we want to know is the dh dt at that moment. Okay, well, when I look at this diagram, I see a right triangle here. I see an angle. And I have the side opposite and adjacent. So if it's opposite and adjacent, we know that would be tangent. So we have tangent of theta is equal to h over 500. Okay, so let's take the derivative of theta in respect to time. So we'd have secant squared theta and then change in theta over time is equal to 1 500 dh dt. And let's substitute the facts that we know. So it's at this moment when theta is pi fourth. And we want to, and then the d theta dt is 0 0.14 is equal to 1 over 500 dh dt. Okay, so now we got to do some math. So secant we know is 1 over cosine. And so secant 1 over, so cosine of pi fourth is radical 2 over 2. So we're going to take the reciprocal of that. So it'd be 2 over radical 2. And that squared times 0 0.14 is equal to 1 over 500. Now, I haven't calculated this out yet. So 2 squared is 4, 4 over 2. So I get 2 times 0.14, and then I'm going to multiply that by 500 when I solve. So I'm going to have to get out my calculator right here alongside of you. So we know, of course, that 2, oh, come on, 2 times 0.14, of course, is 0.28 times 500 is equal to 140. 140. Now, what is the height? What's the units? The height, the units would be feet, 140 feet per minute. So that is the change in height of the balloon at that moment. Fantastic. So those are our three examples. We'll see you in class tomorrow where we'll practice some more.